All right, golfers, I want to highlight something important here, which is the inside takeaway. And I'm going to show you one of the more extreme examples using one of the pro golfers I work with. So you're going to see here, obviously, how far this golfer pulls the club head inside and behind the hands. Okay. A lot of people would look at this and immediately resort to changing it. And I think one of the biggest things I get reminded of in my online lessons is how much players, especially recreational golfers, tend to obsess over the fact that the takeaway needs to look neutral. But I want everybody to live by a simple rule, okay? That rule is if you can pinpoint something that happens later on, meaning after the takeaway, that is being compromised because of what happened early into the backswing, then by all accounts, you should change it. Like if I'm looking at a golfer whose takeaway is very inside and then as they continue to go back into the backswing, you know, either the hands get too far behind them or the shaft goes from a very flat position to one that is way over the top and really steep, then by all accounts, if you can find a reason as to why the takeaway is creating problems, you should change it. But if you look at the takeaway and it looks very inside, and then you look at the positions of the golfer at the top of the backswing, which in this case, the golfer's arm plane is in a pretty damn good spot here. Shaft is just marginally across the line, but it's not really a big point of concern. And then in transition here, what you're going to see is this golfer's shaft actually shallows quite nicely into the transition. So you're gonna see this happening here, right? I'm just gonna to continue to highlight that there. Shaft rides down the trail forearm coming down. Like if the top of the backswing is in some really good spots and then the transition has things moving the way you want them to, then anything that you see in the takeaway about the shaft being inside is purely aesthetic. And I personally don't like to change things just because of how they look. There needs to be a scientific reason in doing so. So going forward, I want everybody to live by that same rule. If you see the takeaways inside, but then you're not getting compromised later on because of it, stop worrying about it. If there is a reason, right, if it is actually penalizing something later, you're compromising a variable for whatever reason, then by all means, you should get rid of it because there's a reason to do so.